Hi, it's Dr. Erica again, and today I want to talk about uh, misgendering and self-acceptance. Many trans people find that it's really, really meaningful to them to have other people treat them the way they want, with preferred names and their pronouns. And sometimes it's very difficult for a trans person, particularly at a certain point in their gender journey, to be continuously misgendered. And my point today simply is, let's not look to other people to help us feel good about ourselves. Let's look inside. I often talk with my patients about the voice in our head that's self-critical. And what we need to do is we need to address that self-criticism and realize that what we're doing is, is extraordinary. That to live an authentic life as a trans person requires a lot of bravery and not to discount that. And if we do that, if we are really authentic in knowing who we are and believing in our journey, people will come along sooner or later. And not all people will come along, but it won't matter because we're living our authentic life. And that's what's most important. I talk about the Texas two-step playing a game or a dancing of thinking inside and stepping on the other foot of stepping outside in society and having people relate to us. And both are important, ultimately, in how we do. But the first and most important part is how we treat ourselves and addressing the critique that we hear in our head. You can do some of this yourself. Certainly you can do it in conjunction with your friends and those who are your allies. And you can do some of it with a qualified gender specialist. So please use all the tools and try to learn how to be good to yourself it will be easier to sustain over the long run as you do encounter some experiences in society that are less than ideal on your way. Thanks for listening and good luck.